Affiliate marketing, one of the most amazing ways to generate extra income and do it without driving yourself crazy because there's a lot of advantages to it with being able to promote and recommend and sell other people's products. So if you're joining me today live or if you're watching the replay, I know your time is valuable. We have a lot of stuff to go over, but I just wanna say welcome and thank you, especially you who are here watching live. Uh, this is gonna be a lot of fun. We have a lot to go over. You will get access to a replay, so you don't have to worry about that. Where is that replay gonna live? It's gonna live right here, just right here on this YouTube page. That's the cool thing about YouTube. It's already recording for us, and it's free to do, which is pretty awesome. Speaking of free to do, it's free to get started with affiliate marketing, and we're gonna go over all these things right now. But if you are here live, and if you haven't done so already, tell me where you're watching from. And even if you're watching the replay, leave a comment. Tell me where you're watching in from. I love to see a worldwide audience here, and wherever in the world you're at, whatever level you're at with affiliate marketing, whether you're just starting out, you've like literally never done it before, you might not even know what it is, you're gonna get some value here and get a head start. Perhaps you've been doing affiliate marketing for a very long time, in which case, cool, that's awesome, you know the language already, but I'm gonna give you the strategies that you can steal, steal them from me and use them and generate more income. So let's talk about it today, we're gonna get right in, and let's talk about what affiliate marketing is. Quick definition, it's generating an income by recommending other people or other companies' products, products that are not yours, right? There are people out there right now talking. There are people who are looking for solutions. There are people who have problems and pains and uh, inconveniences, little frictions, as I like to call it. And it's like, wow, they need some help. And guess what? There are products out there that can help them. You can be the connector. And if you can connect those people who need products to those products, you can get paid. But you're not getting paid from the customer. It's the product or the company that's paying. So it's actually at no extra cost to the customer to get you paid. Now you might be like, well, how does this work? Like, how am I able to do this? Uh, why don't the companies just get those people themselves? Well, the truth is, yeah, they're getting some people, but they need some help. And this is where they're paying you for that help. You have things that they don't. You have audience, whether it's big or small, you can still benefit from this. You don't, there's there's no like minimum number like on YouTube. You need a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. You can do affiliate marketing on your YouTube channel from day one or your podcast from day one or your blog or even just social media. You don't even need a website. You have authority with a following that you are building. You have earned trust and that is worth a lot. And a lot of companies wanna reward you for that, right? There are many benefits to affiliate marketing. You don't need to spend time to create your own products. Who here, let me know in the chat if you've done this before, you've tried to create your own product, and it's just, it just takes a really long time, right? There's a lot of things that go into creating your own product. Well, these products that people are buying already exist. They're out there already. You just have to connect people to them. Customer service, this is another thing. If you create your own products, not only do you have to create the product, you have to maintain it. You have to uh, do the customer service. You have to answer emails, all those things you don't have to worry about when you do affiliate marketing, which is really amazing because it's the company that has to do it. It's scalable, whether you have one person going through one of your affiliate links and you get paid for it, or 100,000 people, which would be awesome. It's scalable because all you have to do is get these people on the internet to pay attention to you and take your recommendation. It can work for all stages of business, whether you're just starting out or you have an existing business with products and an ecosystem of uh, uh, customers already. You can add these products as much or as little as you want into your existing ecosystem. You can create long-lasting partnerships. A lot of the uh, companies that I am an affiliate for actually turn into much more. I am now an advisor for many of those companies and I actually own a share of those companies because when you start to treat these products like they're your own, these companies start to realize that you have such an impact on their business in more ways than just kind of sending people over. So you might get invited as an advisor to these companies. And this actually happens more often than not. And it can become super passive. A lot of these strategies that I'm gonna share with you today, you can kind of just set up once and not forget forever. I think that this idea of forever passive income where you can just do one thing once and it's like forever gonna pay you is, that's just a myth. I mean, that's just, that's not real. But what is real is setting these things up ahead of time. And like I talk about in my podcast, working hard now so you can reap the benefits later. And the beauty of the internet is there is a store that you can create essentially that's open 24 hours, 
a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And it's always available to anybody with a computer connection or internet connection. And that's a possibility for you to generate more income even while you sleep. And I know that sounds cliche in the world of internet marketing. It almost makes me cringe to say that. But I have to say that because it's actually true. It can happen, but you have to do it the right way. And you can get started right now. But we have to start up here, right? Let me know in the chat if you've attempted affiliate marketing before, but maybe you've gotten in your own way, right? This is very common. We start to talk ourselves out of this really amazing opportunity that's in front of us. And in many cases, it's because it's just totally brand new to us, right? It's something we've never done before. In fact, if you are like me and conditioned to feel like you had to go to school and then go to college and then get a job and do that for 40 years, this kind of generation of income is very new, very weird, very strange, and many times our brains just don't want to believe it's real because it almost it almost doesn't feel like as secure when in fact to me it's more secure because you are now taking control you are your own boss you can now create these connections between people and products and you're not working for anybody else you are helping other products and you're helping people find these products that's the cool thing about this but we have to get over a lot of the common anxieties or blockers that we might have so i want to talk about these seven things Real quick, Jana says, yeah, I chickened out. Hey, it's okay. So we, can, we can get back up, right? We can get back up. Many of you in the live chat right now might have some questions. I recommend saving them to the end. We will have some time for them for sure. Number one, you might say to yourself, it hurts my brand to promote other brands that aren't mine. I mean, if you promote a competitor and they literally have the same product that you do, then yeah, it probably would do that. But what if when you promoted another company, it actually complemented your own product? What if it actually serviced your audience because you did all the hard work to find the right product and you're actually saving your audience members time? Well, then it's of service to them and therefore it actually can help your brand. And one of my favorite things is when I promote another product and I get a commission and the person I promoted it to thanks me. That's the best scenario. And that way everybody wins and that's the kind of marketing I like where everybody wins. Number two, there aren't any good products to promote in my niche. This in some cases is semi true, but I think we have to dig a little bit deeper. And the cool thing is there's new products coming out all the time that you can get behind. So I would say this is false, but we might have to dig a little bit deeper depending on what area you are in. Number three, you might say to yourself, I make more money just by selling my own products, right? Which if you look at the math, okay, instead of 100% profits on a product that you have, you're sharing those profits with somebody else, right? So in that way, yeah, maybe it's true, but what if you weren't going to make that money anyway? What if this was a product that you wouldn't have ever created yourself? There are many products that I promote that I would never be able to know how to create myself. So if I can add to my own product suite other products that exist out there, I'm actually indeed making more money. And again, if you're promoting another person who's literally a competitor one for one, then yeah, of course, but you wanna complement the products that you promote by finding other products out there. Number four, you might think, I have to use shady marketing tactics to make this work. This one, I, when I hear this from other people, I'm, I, I, I know that they've been hurt by shady promotional tactics that other people have used on them. I have too, right? And we don't, I don't wanna go down that route and I know you don't either. Uh, it just doesn't feel good. And we put our audience that we've been building, this trust that we've earned at risk when we use shady promotional tactics. So we definitely don't wanna do that and everything you learn today is going to, you're gonna see it's very clear. These are not shady tactics. So I'm not a shady kind of guy. I'm, 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 what's the opposite of, of shady? Lighty? Bright? Bright, I'll say bright. Okay, I'm a bright guy. Hey, that's cool. I like being considered bright. Number five, it's too late to get started. Nope, false. You can get started today. Number six, there's too much competition. You might think, well, I'm just one person out of hundreds that are promoting the same product. Why would people, uh, why would people listen to me? Um, well, because you are you, and you attract a certain kind of people that other people might not vibe with because you have a certain way of things, because you are uh, different, because you have a certain expertise that others don't. There are so many things that you can do and consider to stand out from others. And even though another person might be promoting the same thing, many people are gonna wanna come from you, uh, come to you and, and, and also pay you back for all the value that you're giving. Lighty, yes, thank you, Jen. <laughs> Shady, lighty. Uh, number seven, my audience isn't big enough. Again, you, 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 you just need one person on the other side to take a recommendation. In fact, you've probably got experience with this. What was the last thing you recommended to a friend, right? Imagine 
that that movie you shared, by the way, I saw uh, No Way Home, the new Spider-Man movie. Really good. I recommend that. Imagine just by saying that, I could get paid for that. You probably have a lot of practice recommending things to friends anyway. Imagine doing that now online, and then you get paid back in return. That's just the beauty of this whole thing. It's so awesome. So here's what I'm going to share with you today. The biggest mistakes newbie affiliates make and how to avoid them. I don't want you to go down this path of working hard just to only have it fail. We need to start right from the start, and uh, that's avoiding those big mistakes. Number two, a five-point product test. So when it comes to the specific products that you promote, you want to kind of check all these boxes, five specific things to make sure you give yourself the best chance to have high conversion, right? Number three, specific strategies that you can use to promote the products that you find. I want you to take those strategies and use them. Number four, the affiliate marketing secret weapon. The secret weapon, yes. There's a teaser right there that I use to make more money stand out. And the secret weapon also allows me to get more organic traffic because I know I want more traffic and I'm sure you do as well. Number five, rules to keep in mind so you don't get in trouble or banned. With affiliate marketing, there are some rules and regulations that you have to follow. I'm going to share some of those with you so that you don't make the most common ones, uh, especially if you sell or promote anything on Amazon, but just even overall. So we'll go over those so that you can leave with just peace of mind. Number six, examples and case studies that you can copy for your own promotions. And I have a free gift for you if you stick around. So here is what most people think the big promise is after a session like this, right? The um, 30, 48 minutes that we're about to spend together. This, people think this is gonna happen after a one hour conversation. No, you're not gonna have money rain down on you. You're not gonna be driving Ferraris and having yachts, uh, just to set that expectation. That could happen down the road, but here is really the big promise. The big promise, number one, you'll have a better vision for what products to promote and how. Number two, you'll be able to potentially generate at least $300 or $500 a month using these strategies. I've seen people who have watched this workshop within a month start to generate an additional $500 to $1,000 a month just by implementing some of these strategies. Now, obviously, it depends on what you have available or what assets you have working for you right now, but that can happen because you just need to know maybe a couple of these things to implement. And number three, you'll know the affiliate marketing language and be able to get started. And number four, over time, yes, you can grow a beard, as you can see. Okay, anyway, somebody's like, young Pat. Louis, no yacht. Yeah, I'm sorry. Are those all $1 bills? Probably. It was a stock photo, so probably. <laughs> all right, here we go. Story time. So... I built a website back in 2008 to help people pass an architectural exam. This is the website here. It didn't look like this at the start, but this was to help people pass the uh, leadership and energy and environmental design test, otherwise known as the lead exam. And I sold my own product. I had a study guide that you can click on. You could buy it for $29.99. And I sold thousands of dollars of that particular study guide. Other guides were much more expensive. Mine was much, was much better. And this was to help people in the architecture design space, right? But in addition to my study guide, I also found that there was another company that was selling practice exams. These were computer-based practice exams that were being sold for uh, up to $100 at times. Right now, it's $79. And I remember because I took this practice exam myself to help me pass this test. But what was really interesting was I reached out to this company and I said, hey, would you like to advertise my website? And they were like, sure, what's your price? Now, I didn't know anything about pricing anything, so I just kind of shot in the dark, and I said, $25 a month. And they were like, okay, sure. So for three or four months, they paid me $25 a month. And I thought, I mean, this was the start of my journey. I was like, yo, I did a real business deal. I am, I'm set. I just need a few more of these, and we'll be good. Hundreds of dollars a month, awesome, cool. But then I discovered this thing called affiliate marketing, where again, this company, they didn't actually advertise the affiliate program. I reached out to them when I heard about affiliate marketing and I said, hey, do you have a referral program or an affiliate program? And they said, oh, absolutely, would you like to join? And I was like, sure, what are the terms? And they said, for every sale that you make, Pat, we will give you $22. So it's like 22% commission for every sale. And I was like, cool, I just need to make like one or two sales to make up what would have been the advertising fee that I would have earned. So my whole goal my first month when I grabbed their affiliate link that they gave me and put it on my website was to get two sales. I put it up, 
And in the first month that I had affiliate marketing going to help promote this company on that, on that website, whilst the study guides were still getting promoted, my own stuff, I had sold 49. 49 times 22 equals math. I can't do it right now, but it was a lot more money. And so then the income started to go up. And now, because I'm not in this industry anymore, all products on this website promote to this company stuff as an affiliate. So it's as if they are updating the products for me. I'm just bringing the traffic in still 12, 13, 14, I'm old, years later. That's insane, right? Like that was absolutely a game changer for me. And this is why I love affiliate marketing so much because it can happen. I didn't even know. This was the Smart Passive Income blog when it was launched because after all that went down, people started asking me, how do you do what you do, Pat? And I said, okay, I'll build a website it's going to be called Smart Passive Income. Fun fact, it was actually called Passive Aggressive Income Dude, which is an acronym for paid. So glad I didn't go down that route. I actually hired a cartoonist to create like a superhero that said paid on the front. Wow, that is not me at all. I'm glad I didn't go down that route. Now this website looks a little bit better, obviously. Smart Passive Income or SPI as it's now known. And we help people monetize in all kinds of different ways from building communities to doing affiliate marketing, creating online courses, etc. I also have a YouTube channel if you haven't checked it out. You're here and we're growing and we have videos with millions of views and we have live streams like this today where we educate you on stuff. I also have a podcast. Give me a shout out in the chat if you are a podcast listener. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate you. 1,078. Thank you, Cruz, for the math. I also write books. I have Let Go, which was published in 2013, Will It Fly in 2015, and Superfans. And yes, that is Mr. Beast holding Superfans crazy this was given out at vid summit they bought a whole bunch of copies to give away we also sell online courses one two three affiliate marketing which i'm going to talk about a little bit later i have a special deal for those of you who want to go deeper with this with me there and then i have spi pro this is our premium community which is just recent recently launched and i love it so much uh, all this stuff is generating income which is which is incredible but here's the thing since 2008 7.5 million dollars in earnings online Absolutely blessed, absolutely grateful, super incredibly thankful for that, and I wanna give back as much as I can. 50% of that has come from affiliate marketing, stuff that isn't even my own. I hope that sets in. That is an absolute crazy number. So if you're ready, I'm about to dive into the content here. Chat, give me your favorite emoji to tell me you're ready. Maybe fire emoji if you're, if you're fired up, or four leaf clover to wish you l luck. I don't know why you would need luck. You don't need luck. You just need this information that's about to come. All right. So over seven and a half million dollars earned. Half of it coming from affiliate marketing. So let's dive in. Let's dive in. Cool. So here we go. The top two mistakes wanna be affiliate marketers make, right? If you wanna be my lover, the top two mistakes are number one, choosing the wrong product. You could have the most incredible marketing prowess in the world, but if you promote the wrong product, it's just gonna be bad. It's a bad situation. It's, you're not gonna convert many people, number one, but number two, even if you do convert people, it's not gonna be of service to them. It's not gonna be helpful. It's gonna look bad on you and all this time that you've been spending to earn this reputation is gonna go away. Bill, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you, my friend. Please do not donate. That's not why you're here, but I thank you for that. And number two, dull promotional strategies. You find a product that actually is great. It actually services your audience. It actually solves a problem. And you go, here's a blog post and click on the link. And then you move on. And then you go back to just 100% content creation, not even thinking about how many more people need to see this thing and how many different people respond in different ways to be able to be convinced that something is of value. So we're gonna talk about how to overcome both of these mistakes today. But I want you in the chat right now, and those of you watching the replay, to think in your head, what are the different kinds of products that you can promote as an affiliate? What are the different kinds of products you can promote as an affiliate? Obviously there's like digital products, you could promote physical products on Amazon, but give me a give me a wall in the chat of just whatever comes to mind. And in five seconds, I'm gonna show you all the different kinds of things you could promote, probably stuff that you didn't even think about. Five, four, three, two, one. There it is. 
Physical products, digital products. Amazing Mr. Jesse said SaaS, so software as a service. So software, coaching programs, services, online courses, books, events. We're getting specific here. Bo says friendship lamps, absolutely. Travel, clothing, wine, healthcare, services. Um, men's beard oil, indeed. I need to get me some of that. Software, power GPU, digital, health, books. As you know, events. You can be an affiliate for an event, and guess what? You can just invite your audience and say, hey, click on this link. I get a, I get a commission, and uh, I'll meet you there, and now you are going to the event for free and then some, right? There's so many different things you could promote. But we need to figure out how do we know if what we're promoting is right. So here's the five things that you need to know in this first step because that's the first step. You need to find the right products to promote. Number one, you need to know what the problems are of your target audience. If you're just shooting from the hip, thinking that you're gonna find a product and hope that it actually solves a problem, well, you're doing it wrong and you might lose this trust that you've earned. Problem, you need to find a single problem to solve and start there, right? A single problem. What are the pains and problems that your target audience is going through? It is a must. Next, when you find a product that promises to solve that problem, well, what is the promise? Can you relay that? Is it clear to you? There are many great products that do solve problems, but the promise isn't very clear. And if that's true, you're not gonna get a great conversion rate. That means people are gonna see it and go, mm, I don't know if that's for me or not. You want people who have a pain or problem to go, that is exactly what I've been looking for this whole time. Thank you for scouring the internet. Tell me more, is this for real? How does it work? And that's where proof comes into play. So proof, showing proof that this thing works, but there's an even better proof personal experience. When you can share your own personal experience with these products, it just heightens the recommendation much, much more, right? Imagine selling uh, something to somebody and they go, hey, so have you ever used that thing? And then you go, um, not really. Well, then how real does that recommendation become? Not as real as if you had actually used that thing, right? Now, that being said, you don't need to use the thing to be able to promote it. I promote some stuff from other people who I trust because I've used other things of theirs. I promote companies that I trust because I have a relationship with them. That is okay. And that's on me to make sure that they're going to serve my audience, you. And it's on you to make sure the companies you promote serve your audience too. So personal experience and plus, like especially in a lot of the tech space and physical product space, I mean, you could ask them like say, you know what, hey, I don't promote things I don't use. But if you wanted to send me a free sample, I'd be down to use it for a video or something. Or you might say, can I borrow it, right? A lot of camera people, especially for high-end stuff, uh, Canon and Nikon and Sony send them gear to be able to film stuff because they know how powerful an influencer can be. And then they either send it back or sometimes they just give it to you, which is really cool. Sad trombone says Aaron. Wah, wah. And then finally, a promotional strategy. This is where most people miss who get all the way here. They just don't know how to promote it, right? So let's figure out how to promote it. And this is the best strategy in the world right here. If there's one thing to take home, it's this. The ultimate affiliate marketing strategy is treat these products that aren't yours like they are yours. This solves all the problems for you. If you had your own product, wouldn't you share all about it with people to help a person understand that it's for them? If you had your own product, wouldn't you like promote it to make sure people know about it? If you had your own product, wouldn't you be there to answer questions about a product? Yeah, so do that with affiliate stuff. And I know it's not yours, but treat it like it is because that's how that trust is earned, that's how you be able to answer all those questions, and that's how the company that you're promoting goes, whoa, this person's like, they're like one of us. What else could we do? Let's give them a special deal. Let's give them access to all the early stuff that comes out before anybody else gets it. Let's ask them for feedback. Let's have them come on as an advisor, right? So that's the strategy. But let's get specific. Where do I start? How do, like if you don't even know what products to potentially promote, where do you start? Well, the, there's two things that you can ask. Ask people what they're already buying. This is a cool trick. Imagine you go to Twitter or Instagram and you go, hey, what was the, this is a great trick, by the way. You could all do this right now if you wanted to. You go on your social media platform and you go, what was the last thing you bought that was useful related to 
insert your niche here, right? What was the last thing you bought that was useful related to physical fitness? Boom, you're getting all these people saying things that they've already spent money on. And yes, they've already spent money on that thing, so you're not going to convert them. But those are all signals that, wow, your audience buys these things. Then you could dive in and go, well, why? Or what did this do for you? You could then reach out to those companies and say, hey, some of my audience is interested in your product. I've never heard of it. Can I get access to it so we can, maybe I might review it and, and, and promote it? Or you might already have a relationship with that company and say, hey, uh, I adver like we advertise together. Can I be an affiliate? That's a great place to start because then there are other people like those people who told you what it is that they are buying. So ask them what they're already buying. Number two, start with what's the first step. This is a great one. If you're helping your audience go on some journey of some kind, what is step one? Find a product to help them do that, right? If I'm helping people build a business, step one, all right, probably gonna need a website. Here's a hosting platform, right? If you're gonna do any sort of marketing, cool. One of your first steps, you need an email list. All right, here's my recommendation, right? So these are great ways to figure out where to start. So number one, step one was picking the right product. Step two are passive promotional strategies. Again, passive promotional strategies. That means you can set it up once and it will continue to work for you. Joe says, what if I don't have an audience yet? That's a great question. Well, you don't need a large audience. You can have connections to friends. You can have a small social following. You can find an audience and then dive into different groups and forums and understand them and start to understand what other products you can be. Again, you're the connector, right? So we'll need to find a niche and an audience and the riches are in the niches for sure. So passive promotional strategies, you can set up once and it'll continue to work for you. You still have to maintain it over time. But I also love it because it's not aggressive or sleazy. I hate sleazy marketing, right? I already told you that I'm gonna be promoting an affiliate course after this. I'm just upfront with you about that. But I wanna provide some value upfront so you go, oh my gosh, I got so much value from that free thing. Tell me what's in the paid thing and I know I'm gonna get my money back. So non-aggressive or sleazy, passive strategies. And number three, you can get organic traffic from it as well. So one of my favorite ways to do this is to create a resource page. Every website on the internet should have a resource page. Why wouldn't you? This is of service to the audience who's there. What is a resource page? It's a highly valuable maintained page for your audience. It offers the tools that you have found, that you've tested, that you understand that benefit your audience. The resource page should have paid tools and free tools, to be honest, because you don't wanna hold it back just because you're not getting a commission. You're doing this to help an audience, right? Number two, you should mention and link to this everywhere, on your podcast, on your blog. Hey, check out the resource page. You might find some other things that you might love too. And of course, affiliate disclaimers should be included. You need to be upfront about that. And I'll go over that in the uh, more the end of the presentation today when we talk about you know, the legalities of this. But this is my buddy. His name is Thomas Frank over at College Info Geek. He has also has a really great YouTube channel. He helps people in college with studying and going to college and having the best experience possible and maximizing efforts there. And he has a resource page to help people. You can see it's also divided into like productivity tools, learning tools, writing tools. And of course, this also happens to rank in Google right, which is really amazing. He even has a college packing checklist that ranks in Google, which is like a specific resource page for a specific thing. If you help people with backpacking, you should have a resource list for people who do day backpacking and a, a completely different list for people who do like the, what whatever, the Pacific Trail or whatever it's called, that's like a six month excursion, right? That's a completely different set of things that that person needs to know. And all of it all on one page is absolutely amazing, right? 33% of my affiliate sales come from my resource page ever since I started. It's organic, people find it, people see it, people share it. And here's Thomas who said, becoming an expert curator. That's what we're doing here as an affiliate marketer. You're becoming a curator and your resource page is like your index, right? You're not getting so specific on those pages. You're just giving people an understanding of the different tools you use. You can have different videos, blog posts, podcast episodes that go deeper into these things. This is sort of like a, a library of all the things that you've found to conveniently help people and stop them from finding the wrong products or wasting their time. Becoming an expert curator is a great way to build your personal brand. People love being pointed to tools that can help them and a resource page full of them is a delight. Thank you, Thomas. Here's another passive technique. This is one of my favorites, the audit technique, right? 
So I help people in many cases with affiliate marketing. You can think of one thing that you can help your audience with. And what you'll want to do is create a checklist of things that they should have done. And in this case, with the affiliate marketing checklist, this blog post, it's just a blog post, covers 10 things that you should do if you're affiliate marketing, right? To maximize your efforts there. A very attractive posts. Like people already want to know, okay, what are those 10 things? And like, I want to make sure I'm doing them all. And calling it an audit allows people to go through this as a self-test, right? That particular language is very important, a self-test or self-assessment or audit. So think of an audit that you can do with your audience. If it's uh, if you have a fit, physical fitness brand, right? Uh, 10 essential pieces of equipment that you need to have or else you're doing it wrong. If you are a gardener, um, 10 or five or whatever number, seven, uh, and it's not just piece of equipment. It can just be uh, seven things that only experienced gardeners would know, right? And then you write these things, seven things down. Now, this blog post, this email marketing checklist, like to be specific, it was like, um, num- like assuming that everybody here already had a email service provider, it was like, number one, be sure to personalize your emails. And then I explain why, why I like to personalize emails. Uh, and then people see that and they go, okay, check, I do that, cool. Number two, what's number two? Number two is make sure that you um, write in very short paragraphs so that it's a lot easier on the eye. Cool, I do that too, check. I don't have large paragraphs, great. Number three, make sure you tag and segment your audience so you know exactly who's there. This is where, further down the list, you wanna start with ones that are kinda obvious, but further down the list, people are gonna go, oh, I didn't do that one. Or, well, okay, I, I didn't even know that was a thing. And then when you explain how to do that thing, you drop the affiliate promotion for the uh, for the item that does that thing. So in that case, it's like you should tag and segment. I'm educating. I'm providing value on how that's useful. And then I go, if you haven't yet or don't have an email service provider that can help you tag and segment your audience, click here to get ConvertKit. Or click here to watch my demonstration video on how to do this. And of course, when they see this and they're like, oh, I need that tool now, they're going to want to get it, right? This what is called, that. this creates um, gaps in people, what they're doing and what they need to do. And insert affiliate product for the solution, right? So this is a little bit more advanced, but it is something that works really well and this is passive because you do this once and this becomes an amazing resource that people, I mean, you could drop this in your email service, uh, provide, you, you can drop it in your autoresponder, like the fourth email that comes out, hey, email marketing checklist audit, which of these 10 things are you not doing? They read it and they go, oh my gosh, I only have eight out of 10. I need to, fin- I need to finish it out, right? So that, that's like a very, I'm not gonna go into the depth of the psychology of why this works so well, but hopefully it can start to make sense when people see a checklist. People love making sure they got all the checklists, right? And they see these things that they haven't done yet and then your affiliate product gets inserted into there, right? Sandy says, I love the affiliate or the audit idea. There we go. That's the audit technique. Next, let's talk about some active promotional strategies. These are ones that are time-based, like they happen at a specific moment, and they're usually a little bit more involved, but you get bigger results because there's more stuff happening in a shorter period of time, and you can make a lot more noise. So for example, the small win challenge. This was a challenge that was created for people at SPI to take a free challenge. Let's read it go from zero to 100 email subscribers in three days. Very clear what the promise and the outcome is. Three days, starting fresh, to get to 100 email subscribers. Very clear. What if I said zero to 10,000, right, in a week or even a month? That's too long, and that's kind of unbelievable for people who are literally just starting out, which is why zero to 100, three days, 72 hours, right? How this gets delivered is they sign up for an email uh, or for the challenge, and they get an email every day for three days. That's it. Here's step number one, step number two, step number three. By the end of three days, they'll have had some results. Many cases in this particular case, they do get to 100 emails, which is awesome. But here's what happens. Day four. But I thought it was a three-day email thing. Yeah, it is. But now I'm following up because now I've opened up people's minds to the fact that they can actually do this. And in this case, they have a bunch of emails now. They want to know what to do with them. What's next? When you help people get that first little quick win, they always follow up and go, what's next? Give me more. Mm, It's just such a powerful strategy. You've heard me talk about small quick wins probably a lot uh, in my book, Superfans. So day four, we go, hey, look at you. You did it. 
Now we need to know what to do with them. I highly recommend using a tool like ConvertKit to put all these emails in so you can begin having broadcast emails sent out. You can create a landing page to gain more people like that and blah, blah, blah. You'd start teaching all the way through, right? They see how it's doable and now they wanna do more, right? They see how it's doable and then they wanna do more. So very, very clear, you wanna provide a small, it has to be small. If it's too big, it's not gonna work. A small, quick win that moves them into the next thing, right? Your affiliate product becomes the next thing. And number three, this cool thing about like a challenge that happens live is it can spread virally. Like when we when we launched this for the first time, we had 14,000 people participate. Epic, epic results. Uh, ten, tens of thousands of new emails collected right over the course of, of three days during this challenge. Now it did take a lot of effort because it was like an event and my team was in a Facebook group and whatnot and making it happen and, and, and getting people to get excited about it. Uh, and then of course the affiliate sales just came right after that. It was, it was one of the highest converting things that we've done. Now this is on autopilot. Now it's an autoresponder in my email that's sending out these emails once per day, whether you sign up today or next week or next month. It's all happening under the hood, which is cool. Finally, the machine. This is really cool. I wanna give credit to Monica Louie who gave me this idea. She is from Flourish with Monica, Facebook ads expert. Imagine you have a website that, you have a blog post essentially that promotes a product. Right, And on that page, you have uh, the description of the product, you talk about it, you talk about your personal experience with it, you, of course, have your affiliate link there. Well, what you do is you get paid when you get affiliate commissions. Cool, you're getting paid for promoting that product, awesome. Well, you take some of that money and you put it into ads. And the ads get more people to find that product. And this is what Monica's been using. Now, this isn't gonna work for your little one or $2 commission items. This is gonna work if you promote something that can get you you know, maybe 20, 30, 50, $100 commissions because you can take half of that, put it into ads to bring more organic traffic in, which in the immediate term can get you more affiliate commissions, but in the long term even can get you a new email subscriber and customers and all that kind of stuff. So this is the machine. And when you build this out, it just becomes this cycle that continues to pay for itself and more money in your pocket, right? So are we clear on seeing how this works? You have a product page that promotes a product that's not yours. You get an affiliate commission, you take some of that income, you and that's a write-off as well, right? I'm not a lawyer or a CPA, but yeah, it's a write-off to spend money on ads that get more people to find it, that then get more people to take it, right? Now let's keep going. Quick little breather, because we're about to get into the secret weapon. By the way, how y'all doing? Hope everybody's good. Let me know. Just doing a little quick energy check-in with the chat. How you doing? I see a comment here from my good buddy, Dr. Applesauce, uh, Pokemon collector and Pops figure collector. Awesome, dude. Hey, Pat, I looked at income from 2021 and, had, and my one affiliate partnership I actively push had almost double the revenue from my actual sponsors for the whole year looking at more. Nice. You will make more money doing affiliate marketing than with sponsorships if you do it right. It's pretty amazing because you're almost capped with like how many views you get or just the deal that you make when it's like a sponsorship or advertisement. But when it's all about just like getting traffic to come through a link, I mean, one of your videos, dude, can just pop on out on, on the algorithm and then boom, you're just sending way more people versus you film a video for a certain amount of money, whether that video pops or not, it's still the same amount of money coming your way, right? So just something to keep in mind. Loving this, Pat, doing good. Thank you for the help, says Bill. Uh, doing good, thanks. I am hot, says Boris. It's 82 degrees. Stay cool, my friend. So much good info, can't wait to start. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep the party going. The affiliate marketer's secret weapon. This is my favorite thing right now. The demo video. For those of you who have some YouTube and video experience, bro, bro you're, 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 already, you're already ahead, right? The demo video, creating a video to demonstrate the use of that product, right? So all of my, all of my highest converting affiliate, uh, converting affiliate campaigns use demo videos. So the one on the left is for ConvertKit, the one on the right was for a couple physical products. It works for all products, even coaching programs. You talk about your experience, you share what you loved about it, you give people some tips on if they're gonna go into it themselves how they can ma maximize their efforts there. And it can help you get organic traffic, especially on you, because, because of YouTube. 
that's the awesome thing about this and the benefit of YouTube over podcasting is is the ability for YouTube to do some of the work for you to find people that would benefit from your videos, right? So here's some tips for your demo video. A demo video is not a 45-minute video about how to use every single thing or every single page on that website or every button and everything that it does. That's like an in-depth review. A demo video demonstrates the use of that video. You want to show people using it. Those mirror neurons that they have in their brain on a psychological level fire up. When they see somebody using a product that would also solve their problem, they want now that product in their hands too, right? Those are mirror neurons. Look it up. So demo video tips. Number one, find other demo videos for the same product and make yours better. Find other demo videos for the same product and make yours better. Number two, show off how simple it is to use. That's what we want to show. Now, you also don't just have to share what's good about it. I would recommend also sharing maybe a couple of things that you don't like about it or could be improved or how you've improved it yourself or how you've made the most of it, right? And number three, publish on YouTube and optimize for keywords, right? Steph says, ooh, nice. I was working on one of those before the session. Yeah, show it, like take some B-roll with your phone. You can literally just, one of my favorite things to do when doing product reviews of physical things, like imagine I'm doing a review of this high OPR 40 microphone. I'm just gonna take my phone, right? I'm gonna take my phone and I'm gonna shoot a video like this. I'm gonna be like slow motion like that, up close, just take random shots of it. Ooh, fun. Right? Do that in slow-mo. And now you have B-roll for your your video. It's the coolest thing. Slow-mo on like an iPhone or Android, right? And then you are talking over it when you edit in your video. You're talking over it. And it's just like, ooh, wow, very visual. And like it interrupts the patterns and stuff of, of a viewer, uh, which is good for retention. So easy to do. There's like a million tips I could offer you, but we're going to hold those for later. Uh, to give you an example of a recent campaign that I did, Descript, this is a um, audio capture software. Uh, it's also editor and can help you capture video and screen recordings as well. It's actually really le legit. They have a tool in uh, the program called Overdub. And Overdub is really interesting because it can actually copy your voice if you upload enough of your voice, right? Which is really scary too. So I filmed the video. I just wanted to show people how it's a great editor and it's a game changer. So here's a video that went live nine months ago. You can see 47,000 views. This new audio editor editor. And in this video, I mentioned Descript and it does include an affiliate link for Descript. I use it myself and I showed how I use it and I just showed people what was new about it. I created a second video about two weeks later. This audio editing tool deep faked my voice. So this is a very clickable title. I mean, titles and thumbnails are my jam right now. Dr. Applesauce knows this. Many other people in the Pokemon space know this because that's what where, where a lot of focus on YouTube is right now for me. Um, but one million views in nine months with my affiliate link in there. Thank you, YouTube, for that. So yeah, month to date, April, 2022, $800 in commissions from that video that was published nine months ago. Remember when I talked about passive income? Yeah. And then over time, since this was published nine months ago, $12,244. I didn't use Descript for much time before that. I was kind of figuring it out as I was going. I just shared a couple videos, put in an affiliate link because I do recommend it. If I didn't like the product, I wouldn't have recommended it. $12,000 extra dollars in my pocket. Plus the ad revenue from YouTube. So probably more like 20K. Incredible. And I'm promoting a product. And I'm giving people value. Is this is this setting in for y'all? Like the possibilities here? This didn't happen because I have a big YouTube channel. This happened because I created a great demo video about people about something that people were interested in and curious about. Right. All right, let's keep going. Let's talk about following the rules. 
And Descript is thrilled too. In fact, now we've had more, like to Kelly's point, who said Descript will be thrilled too. They reached out to me like, wow, your video is doing so well. Let's chat, Pat. Let's chat. This is what I'm talking about. Those, these, these kind of partnerships that can happen. The opportunities are there. Just need to invest in some time and, and, and make some mistakes. But having some guidance on, along the way to figure it out can really help. All right. Let's follow the rules because you can make all the money in the world. But if you break some of these rules, uh, all that money is going to be taken away. <laughs> I'm not a lawyer, by the way. Uh, this is FTC guidelines, Federal Trade Commission. This is U.S. based. But if you're outside of the U.S., you likely have similar rules. I highly recommend you check out the rules that are in your jurisdiction or whatever the right program is. Number one. You must disclose the affiliate relationship that you have with the company you're promoting. When you promote another company or product, at the first instance of you sharing that affiliate link, you need to share that there is that relationship there. Now, when I first heard about this rule, because I was breaking the rules early on, like 2008, 2009, when I did the uh, affiliate marketing stuff with that other company, I didn't know these things. This is, the why I'm, this is why I'm telling you now. Luckily, I wasn't big enough to get in trouble. But now... Like I'm, I'm remembering when I when somebody was like, Pat, are you disclosing your affiliate links? I'm like, no, why would I do that? And they're like, because you have to. I was like, oh, I was worried. I, I didn't want to do that because I thought, oh, well, now everybody's going to know I'm making money from sharing these things. Like they're not going to click on these things anymore. But actually, the opposite happened. When you show up and you provide value and you say, hey, here's the thing I recommend, and it is in alignment. It goes through those five points. It does help people out. They're going to want to make sure they go through that link because they want to pay you back, right? I even say that, hey, if you want to help pay me back, here is an affiliate link at no extra cost to you. Also, if you have any questions, let me know. Here's my affiliate link. I have a relationship with this company. In 99% of the cases, people don't even bat an eye about that, right? There is a 1% chance that you'll have a person go, oh, that's why you're promoting it because you're getting paid for it. And I get those comments all the time. Uh, but it's like, okay, but this also actually helps you. So if you can't like also feel like I could get paid for helping people, then something's going on up here on, on your end. Number two, this is across all platforms, including social media. Hashtag ad is, uh, will suffice for now, um, with places like uh, Instagram and Facebook and LinkedIn, et cetera. Uh, a note on an affiliate disclaimer page. This was like my initial workaround is like, okay, cool. I'll just put an affiliate disclaimer button at the very bottom in the footer so nobody sees it. That doesn't work. It has to be at that instance. If you're doing it on video, video, you have to do it. Um, now there's obviously gray areas. Some people wait till later to say the affiliate relationship. Some people just do it in just the description only. It's your, it's your call on how safe you want to be. Now on Amazon. Amazon. Amazon, again, I'm not a lawyer, but Amazon has its own specific rules. In fact, actually, every company you promote may have their own specific rules on what you can and cannot do. So definitely, if you're promoting other products, you know, make sure you are in, in understanding of what goes on, what, what you need to do. Uh, you must disclose the affiliate relationship, very similar to the one I just did. This one crushed me. No links in emails. You are not allowed to place an Amazon affiliate link in an email. Are you kidding me? Do you not want me to promote your product or not? <laughs> but I understand why Amazon thrives on public knowledge of, or at least, you know, AI-based knowledge of what happens and where. Links and emails are not accessible to Amazon such that they would then understand, like, the data and all that stuff so they could serve better products to people. So no links and email, which I was crushed. But actually, we can always turn these things around, right? So this forces it so that I cannot put a link in the email, but I'd rather put a link in the email for a page or a video or something on my website that then has the opportunity to not just show the link, which is on the website or the video, but to set it up and sell it better. People don't want to spend hours in an email reading. So a quick email that goes, hey, I just checked out this product and reviewed it. Click on the link to watch my review and see how it can help you do X, Y, Z. Boom, they click on the link, they go to YouTube or they go to my website. That's where all the explanation happens. That's where the disclaimer is. You don't need to, I'm not asking for the sale right there. I'm asking on my website, right? So that's how you can kind of get around it. 
and yeah, they totally gutted their affiliate program. Uh, no links in eBooks, same thing. One thing I like to do if I have a eBook that, that has a bunch of links, I always link to a resource page specific for that book that then I can update, add new links, remove old links and stuff so I don't even have to go and edit the eBook later. The eBook points to that resource page. Number four, links on social and YouTube are okay. Totally cool to do that and you can actually uh, promote your own thing as an affiliate on Amazon, which is really cool. Uh, but you have to also let people know that they're going to Amazon. If you have a web page and you have an affiliate link, you need to let people know that this is an Amazon affiliate link. I had my account decommissioned. It was gone because we had a book club page that had all the books that I recommended over time, but it just said, buy, buy now, buy book, right? It didn't mention that it was going to Amazon as an affiliate link. It was an affiliate link, but it didn't mention anything about going to Amazon. And as a result, they, they crushed my account. And thankfully, I somehow got it back because most people don't, right? Sorry, I was blocking. So two questions for you. Number one, what was the most valuable piece of information you picked up today? I'm curious. And stick around because I have that free gift coming your way very soon. What was the most valuable piece of information you picked up today? I'll read some of these in the chat. So hopefully you got some value here. I gave you just a taste, a little bit of a sprinkle of the kinds of stuff that I teach in my course, one, two, three, affiliate marketing, which I'm gonna go over in just a minute. But this kind of stuff works. One of these strategies implemented can help you generate more revenue. Taking a little bit of time to think about the products that you're promoting and how you position them could be incredible. Uh, the demo video says elevating motherhood. Thank you. Uh, David says all of it. Calming anxiety says thumbs up. The rules says Justin. The thing about doing a demo video of the product, the resource page, is this live live? Yes, Wally, it is live live or else I wouldn't have been able to read that. Uh, the software with the voice change thing. This is a journey, not a sprint. Exactly. Thank you, Tanya. Uh, the rules, everything. The secret weapon was the most valuable. The pattern interrupts. The affiliate marketing secrets. Um, if people are going to hate on you for making some affiliate money from helping people, then forget about them. Yo. Elaine, thank you for that. The demo video, awesome. That I don't need an email list to get started. You don't. Do you need an email list to tell your friend that you have this product that you love? No, you don't. Checklist, the audit, everything so far, cool. Second question is how valuable is this information if you never put it into action, right? It would be an absolute waste of time if you didn't actually take at least one of the things that was given to you here today and put it into practice. Same thing goes for when you listen to a podcast. Same thing goes for when you read books. I want you to take action on the things that you learn or else it was a complete waste of time. You're gonna fall deeper into, oh, I know everything to do, but then you don't do anything and get no results. You have to make some change. You have to invest. You have to go into the knowledge that you've just picked up, right? So with your permission, can I get a yes in the chat if I have permission to talk a little bit about 123 Affiliate Marketing my course that goes over this. Uh, we've had thousands of students go through it successfully to take a lot of the things that we learned today, but like actually step-by-step step go through it and implement it and, and see some revenue on the other side. So with your permission, if I get a yes, if I get a single yes in the chat, I'm gonna move forward. So I will wait for that to come in. Yes, Jenna, and all these yeses coming in. Album review with Greg. Thank you, Greg. Sally. Okay, let's get into it. This is my Repeatable step-by-step -step affiliate marketing online training course that also acts as accountability for your investment. <laughs> because I think we all know that when there's skin in the game, when you actually invest in something, it's more likely to come back, right? So you could just take what you've learned today and execute on it. But if you know that you're somebody that needs a little hand-holding, that needs some skin in the game, then this is for you. This is one, two, three affiliate marketing by yours truly. And in this book, or, or actually not in this book, I'm actually gonna go to... Uh, I'm gonna show you the course and what it's like. So this is one, two, three affiliate marketing and it's hosted in Teachable so you're never gonna get lost. You'll always see the next lesson to go through right at the top here and I've completed all of them so don't worry about that. So we welcome you and I want you to pay attention to these video lengths because I have taken a lot of courses and I hate courses that the lengths of the videos are like 30 minutes, an hour. It's just like, tell me what to do and do it and then let's move on, right? That's what I do. So four minutes, seven minutes, five minutes, 11 minutes, 18 minutes, eight minutes, eight minutes, six minutes. You go through one by one. What kind of products work best? Okay, well, let's open that. You come in here and there's a video, there's worksheets, 
There's other things to help guide you along the way, right? These things will work with you as you go along. Let's go back to home. So here is the journey that I take you through. Step one, choosing the right product. We choose what's called a focus product. I have you choose one. Yes, there may be many. And if you don't have one, we work to get one. I help you get an affiliate link for that, even if the company doesn't have a public affiliate program. And then we go into passive promotional strategies. We go over all of them and you choose one or two to implement right away. Then step three, and I only gave you a few, right? The demo video, these are all like, remember the audit. There is a library of different things that you can do depending on the product that you wanna promote, which is awesome. Then my favorite part, the affiliate marketing recipe book. I'm gonna click on software. Let's, let's imagine that you have a software that you wanna promote. I'm gonna click on software. I give you some examples and then I give you specific strategies that act like a recipe in a cookbook. So let's say you wanna do a, just a regular software review. Here's the difficulty, the effectiveness, et cetera. Let's imagine that you wanna use the, this is the Montel Jordan strategy, which is just, let me show you how I do it. And you do a webinar where you, you show people how you use that product. That's the Montel Jordan strategy. This is how we do it. And I walk you through that. Let's open this one, the webinar, version one. You'll be conducting a live webinar to teach and demo the use of software with mild selling involved. Let's click on that. Here it is. Just like a recipe book, here's all the ingredients you'll need. An affiliate link for a software, the webinar registration page, webinar software, here's some examples. A 45 minute presentation, here's what to do in that presentation. Here are the directions, here's how to cook this thing. Select webinar date, here are the best dates. I mean, we get into the details for you. And I want to give you this for free right now. If you go to this website here, smartpassiveincome.com slash recipe, you're gonna get that free right now, that particular recipe. And again, we have dozens of them in here depending on what it is you're promoting, an online course, a book, or a coaching program, et cetera. So you can go there right now, smartpassiveincome.com slash recipe. So give you a second for that. Cool. So journey through the course is, is of utmost importance to me. My favorite, kind of, uh, my, my, my favorite testimonial I always get is this is one of the only courses I've actually finished. So if you've taken courses and haven't finished, this one's maybe gonna be a little bit different for you. This is William, one of our students. He said, I'm very selective about the online courses I purchase, mostly because I'm not sure about the value I'll receive. One to three affiliate marketing was an easy decision to join. Not only do I respect Pat for his reputation in the affiliate marketing field, but I knew this course would pay for itself. It's the beauty of this. There is an expected ROI at the other end of some kind. All I had to do was complete the course and implement the lessons. Prerna, a copywriter, said signing up for one to three affiliate marketing was one of the smartest things we did for our business last year. I knew when it came to affiliate marketing, Pat was the only one who could help us create a solid plan, and she has increased her revenue since. Here are some quick testimonials from people in our student center, now our academy of people getting their first commissions. I love Fred's here. We earned our first $3.44. He had never made money online before, and he's stoked. Jason getting his first affiliate commission for two fifty. Brian, $1,000 per month coming in from stuff that he's been doing lately. So cool. So here is what you get, and here is the link. Smartpassiveincome.com slash 123am. You get lifetime access to 123 Affiliate Marketing. You get the Affiliate Marketing Recipe Book that's included in there. You get access to weekly office hours with me, a call like this, but on Zoom, and it's private, that I can be there to answer your questions, however many questions you have. Every week I show up to students of my courses, and I am there to answer questions. That is worth the price of admission alone. Access to the SPI Academy community with other students taking this course as well. And I have a limited time offer for you because the promotion starts now. This campaign will last for one week. We have some special stuff that's gonna go in it for you. This is the normal price of one, two, three affiliate marketing. And again, we've had thousands of students go through. We're not gonna go $6.99 today. We're gonna go one-time payment of $4.99 to get access to all that. So $200 off the regular price. But not only that, we're doing something we've never done before. This is the biggest bonus I've ever offered. But it's only available during this week-long promotional peri uh, period. Barbara, thank you so much. I see some people talking about the courses that they've um, you thought that I never thought, yeah, killed my, 
Thank you, Barbara. Thank, I appreciate you for that. The biggest promotion bonus we've ever offered. One of our other courses that goes perfect with this, A to Z webinars. This is a $499 course that will be given away for free if you get access to 1 to 3 affiliate marketing by Tuesday next week. So essentially, you're getting a two for one deal here. And A to Z webinars is gonna teach you how to do the, a webinar and you now have a recipe in your hands, a webinar that you can use to build your email list or a webinar that you can use to sell your product if you have your own product or in this case, potentially sell an affiliate product. So you get this and one to three affiliate marketing for free and the win with Flynn money back guarantee. If you're not completely satisfied with your investment in one, two, three affiliate marketing, that's my fault, not yours. So before 30 days, or you have 30 days, you can ask for your money back, no questions asked. That's how confident I am in this course's ability to help you generate more revenue, all right? So here's all you get. The course, the recipe book, the office hours, the academy, A to Z webinars, the win with Flynn guarantee, $200 off, plus the bonus, which is the same price, $499 for just $499, smartpassiveincome.com slash 123am. That's where you wanna go. So I'm gonna spend the next five, 10 minutes here answering any questions that you might have in the chat, but that takes us to the top of the hour and I invite you to join us in 123 Affiliate Marketing. My team and I will take care of you. You also get access to the academy with other students. And as you can see from the stuff that we just chatted about today, we just scratched the surface. In order to make this work, you need to invest in time to put this together yourself and to figure out all the pieces and to fill in all the gaps so you can make this work. You now have a lot of the puzzle pieces for sure. But I invite you to invest in 123AM, the course that has probably the clearest ROI of any courses that we offer. I mean, my, our most popular course is our podcasting course. We've sold, I think, almost $3 million worth of that course. And the promise being you will have a podcast and it will be found and it works. But the income generation from a podcast is a little bit tougher and it's not necessarily known up front while you're creating the podcast. This is very clear. Find the right products, use the right promotions to get them in front of your audience, generate more revenue, expand on these partnerships, and then rinse and repeat. And a lot of this stuff can be used in a more passive manner or in a more active manner. So smartpassiveincome.com slash 123 AM. So Jared has a question here. Great teaching. Actually, let me pull this up. And thank you, Jared. I appreciate you. Let's see. I'm going to move this up. Actually, what if I move this up here? Sure, why not? Okay. Jared says, great teaching. If we end up choosing dozens of uh, different affiliates, some independent and others from networks, should we consider getting an agency to help us manage all of them? So I would start simple, start fresh with one or two products to start. If you begin promoting like a hundred different things, then it can become a mess and all of them are not gonna have the best chance to do the best for you. So you can have some active promotions for one or two, but if you do have like a resource library or something where you have many of them, how might you pay attention and how might you keep track of them? I would purposefully have either you or an assistant go through once a month to get the revenue and reports from them so you know what can stay on that resource page, you know what can, can be removed and all that sort of stuff. So that's how I would recommend it. The other thing to consider here, and again, Jer um, Jared, thank you so much for your question. We'll go and get some other questions in just a second, but here's a really important thing to realize. Actually, let's do a hypothetical situation and, and put you to the test. Let's see if you know the right answer. Let's say you have a problem that you're solving for your audience, and there's two products that can solve that problem for your audience. You've tested them both. They're both great, and they both work. But they're just two different companies. Do you, A, promote just one of those companies, or do you, B, promote and compare and contrast both of those companies? A, promote just one company, or B, promote both and compare and contrast? They do literally the same thing. Which do you think is the right answer? A, one product, or B, both products? The answer might surprise you. Now, as you're thinking about this, I also want you to think about what is the purpose of what we're doing here? 
Our purpose is to help our audience make better decisions, right? So is it a better decision? Is it more useful for them to see the comparisons or to see the one? We have varying answers here, which is great because we can talk about this a little bit. This is a big lesson that I learned over time. There is something called analysis paralysis, meaning if there are too many things to consider, it's actually not worth making a decision at all. So if you are going to compare both, you're actually doing your audience a disservice. This is, this is me talking, right? And there's probably studies that go both ways. But imagine you're sharing both and they're exactly the same and you both, you recommend both and it's like you could choose either one of these, they'd be great. You're now leaving it up to them to make a decision. Your job is to help your audience make a decision. So imagine you just go, hey, like I'm at, like I want you to position yourself as an audience member going and seeing your trusted resource go, hey, you want that solved? This is the product right here. This, there's many others. This is the one I choose. This is why. And this is what I recommend. Yes, there are websites out there, even affiliate websites that do comparison shopping stuff that compare A to Z. And if you are writing blog posts, yes, you should definitely compare A to Z and get some search engine optimization for that. But I would recommend just stepping forward and choosing one because then you're reducing the fatigue from decision-making for your audience, right? It's one, trust me. I've done it and the numbers shot up when we saved our audience time. Just the one, just the one. Question for Michael, any idea if you can put an Amazon link in the chat on Zoom? I don't know that answer off the top of my head. I would imagine that it would be similar to the ebook or uh, email. However, that being said, um, There would be literally no way for them to know, but that doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. I'll I'll look up I'll look up that Michael, but I have seen that happen before. But in all in all honesty, I always try to recommend people put their affiliate links on a page with other information that sells that thing for them, right? Uh, if possible, uh, or in a video or in a description uh, around that product. Simple has a really nice sort of uh, potential compromise there it's split test right now here's the problem when you split test you are now showing those companies that you're promoting both you're promoting their literal competitor so another thing that happens when you choose one product to promote is that company goes oh my gosh you chose us what do you need from us to make sure this is a success for you what can we do for you what can we give you what can we send you what else do you want i want a higher affiliate commission I've asked for that before, and they will grant you that if and only if you have that kind of relationship, right? Really, really interesting stuff. It goes, it goes much deeper than just which one should I promote, right, and why. Jeff says, can you give advice what makes good or bad demo video? Yeah, a bad demo video goes on and on and on. It doesn't get to any points. It Like, imagine a person's uh, search intent. That's typically where people are going to find your video, your demo video, because they're looking, how do I use a product before I buy it, right? So imagine that that's the mindset of a person going into that video. Well, okay, what do we need to show them? You don't need this two minute long introduction. They don't even care who you are, honestly. That's no offense to you. That's that, that's not the user intent. They're not there to potentially subscribe to their next favorite person. That can happen as a byproduct of getting into a really good demonstration and them liking your style. You ask for the subscription at the end. So get into the product. Hey, in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the HiO PR40. I'm also gonna be comparing it to three other mics that are very similar in price so that you can make the decision on, yeah, this is the mic, but I'm gonna show you why. Here we go. See how easy that was? Like, let's get into it. And then B-roll video of the thing. And then like, here's how I use it. Here are the accessories I use. Here's the one thing I don't like about it. So if you're gonna get a boom arm, you wanna make sure you have an extension here so you can add a mic flag, all those kinds of things. I'm not saying things that, I remember, you need to know who your audience is. My audience, people looking up for podcast stuff is not necessarily super technical. 
So I'm not necessarily like, remember, you could go deep. This is a 4.5 cardioid mic uh, shotgun fire with a, you know, 2.9 extension um, rodeo F Fantastic Nine uh, Batman. What? Speak the same language that your target audience can respond to, right? Good question, though. All right, we're going to go for a couple more questions here, but I'm having a ton of fun answering these for you. Uh, Val says, are there niches that work best in affiliate world? I'm sure there are, but I, I honestly, I mean, there are affiliates in all parts of the world, uh, from, from wooden boats to um, scrapbooking to Pokemon to, uh, you know, business-related things. I think not necessarily the niches that work best, but when there is a clear understanding of the what, what when 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 the inconvenience of something is so clear, that's when products can insert themselves into the mix, right? Uh, so that that's a great way to think about it. Refocus says, the webpage says, if you don't have any online presence yet, this course is not going to help you. No, that's not true. Things have changed since uh, that was mentioned. Um, build your own brand can definitely help you get an audience, but you can build your audience as you're thinking about these products, especially with how all of us are on social now. That's that's the thing. If you don't have any connection to anybody online, then build your own brand might might start um, because you do need to know or pick an audience and you know, build your own brand will help you pick an audience. Uh, if you don't have an audience picked yet, then yes, I would recommend that you don't get into a, into this course. But that is a great point. Mark says, hey, Pat, thanks for all the great content you suggest. Would you suggest affiliate marketing for a brand new podcast or would you think it's better to focus on building an audience first? Mark, I would imagine who your audience is and might there be any products that might serve them? Imagine this, Mark. You have a small but core audience of like even 20 people, even let's say 10 people because you're a brand new podcaster. Your first episode, hopefully it gets more. But let's say you have 10 listeners. Imagine that you have a product that could serve them, but you tell them, you know what? My audience isn't big enough to help you 10 people yet. I'm going to wait till I get 100 listeners before I share with you this amazing product that can actually help you. I know you're not like that, Mark, and I know most people here aren't, but when you put it that way, right, it's like, well, that's kind of mean and selfish. You're not mean and selfish, but why not start from the very beginning? If there is a product that you know, again, understanding the problem of your audience first, you can do affiliate marketing from episode one. And imagine, you hardly get any listeners. Cool, fine. You've planted that seed that now when you get 1,000 listeners per episode and they go back to episode one, yo, they're ready for it. And they're going to hear that, and it's already planted there, and it'll start to start to germinate. It's actually probably the easiest way to start, right? Uh, Anissa says, I think affiliate marketing is a great start in making a niche before you actually build your own services. Yes, I did affiliate marketing first before creating any products or courses for smart passive income. Absolutely. Nerdy says, Kat, you're so good at this, Pat. I have been doing this for a very long time. I'm very, I'm, I'm feeling like an older person in this space because I've been doing it since 2008. So I know all the things that trip people up. I know all the things that work and don't. Um, and we are just applying them to the new environment that we're in now. And with everybody working remotely, I mean, some hot niches that have been working really well now are like work from home niches, right? Here is the chair that you need to work from home eight hours a day. Here is the soundproofing for your doors. Here is the ergonomic keyboard. It, like all that stuff because of the environment that we're in is smoking hot right now, right? So a lot of uh, those kinds of niches and brands are doing really well. Canada Cat says, with your courses, do I have to stick to a timeline or can I work at my own pace? It's at your own pace. However, I do offer a recommended pace up front just so you can stay on top of things and get things going. But what I love about the way that we've structured our courses is that they can fit into busy lives, right? You don't like, it's not like going to an event for two days. It is piece by piece, hand in hand, one thing after the next, little micro wins here and there, and then you have this big win in the end, right? Kimra, <laughs> you're crazy, I love you. Kimra Luna, an absolute just gem in the industry, and uh, she has some really amazing courses and stuff as well, so Kimra, thank you, I appreciate you. 
Canada, uh, we answered that question. Pat is legitimately number one authority on affiliate marketing, introduced to it by someone who isn't, and then found Mr. Flynn. Fit over 50, thank you. Um, hope all is well. It's been a while since we've connected. I remember talking to you um, a couple of years ago on the income stream. I hope all is going well. Thank you. John says, I'm growing a beard. Do you have any affiliate links to beard oil, et cetera? <laughs> no, I don't use anything, dude. I don't use anything because every time, do you see how, did you see, anybody see how often I touched my beard today? Like that would then end up on the keyboard if I was using beard oil. Anyway, um, <laughs> thank you. In your course, do you talk about red flags to look for in affiliate programs? Oh, absolutely. But again, it all stems to the problem that you're solving and can the product help it? And if you start to hear any sort of complaints or anything, that's a big red flag after the fact. But doing some research and reviews on that product to see and make sure, and also when you get firsthand like knowledge of that product, using it yourself, then yeah, absolutely, it could, it could work. Okay. 250 a course and office hours. Yes, Linton, exactly. Which is a, it's an absolute steal. And the thing is, we're not promoting A to Z webinars on its own this year, which is why we wanted to include it as a bonus. Now, if you have one, two, three affiliate marketing already, um, and you don't have um, A to Z webinars, uh, you could reach out if you want a help at teamspi.com, um, or if you already have A to Z webinars, uh, we can potentially throw in a different bonus for you. We want to make sure you get rewarded for taking action. So again, you'll get a follow up email with the replay very shortly, um, and yeah. Final question here from April, who uh, April and Ray have an amazing brand. They are very, very active on Clubhouse if you want to hear them in person. Uh, and just such a strong support of the brand, April. I appreciate you. Love you for everything you do to support me. Thank you so, so much. Um, off topic, but what are your thoughts on labeling yourself as an expert or an authority? That is something I'm really struggling with because I'm just seeing myself as human. You are so humble, uh, April. I feel like you must take ownership of the fact that you have knowledge that you can share with others that can be of service to them. And imagine that a person needed your needed your help and said, okay, there's another person out there who's claiming to be an expert. And then there's this person named April who seems great, but she doesn't consider herself an expert. On the surface, before people get to know you, who are they gonna go to? Probably the person who considers themselves an expert because that's what we're all doing and everybody's doing and they're doing everything in their power to have clout and credentials and social proof to make themselves look as good as possible. So in that case, labeling yourself as an expert to begin to show people really the kind of things that you can offer to them is, is really what should be done because you don't lose anything from doing that, uh, but you lose something by not having that, especially in more competitive spaces, if that makes sense. What if you are already part of the SPI Academy on Circle? Uh, then that's then you will get access to the specific um, course section for the the course um, on top of what you already have. Brian says, "Would you recommend this course first or podcast course first if you ultimately want to make passive income?" Says Brian. Honestly. You can go either way. It's really, honestly, it would be what would be more exciting to you. Um, the podcasting course at Power Up Podcasting could be great because it's going to help you build your podcast, get out there, hone in on your message, build an audience, et cetera, and then you can put affiliate marketing in there. That being said, the affiliate marketing course can help you structure exactly what it is that you want to promote people uh, with and, and who those people are to. And then you can already have an understanding of that when you get into your podcast. So it's going to be really up to, up to you. Linton says, Pat, correct me if I'm wrong, but your courses are updated ongoing with current info, unlike some other named individuals. Uh, I don't know who you're talking about, Linton, but yes, my courses are updated. The affiliate courses had a couple um, makeovers here and there. Not makeovers, but like here are some individual lessons that need to be replaced or just at least written content to support the changes. Um, our podcasting course is on its second overhaul, like 2.0 version. All of our courses, if there's anything in the industry that happens, um, once we verify those things, we do put them in there for sure. Is it necessary to have a WordPress site or is there another way to accomplish this found the foundation? Uh, any grouping of people is a great foundation. I would eventually recommend having a website of sorts, but having a group of people, even if it's on technically another company sandbox, like an Instagram or, or what have you, 
can be a start. It, you can start with that. Question, invite company reps for a demo video? I would do a demo video on your own first, Mike, but then what you can do on a second video would be to bring a rep on if you have a podcast. Uh, bringing the CEO of a company on is a great, great strategy because people start to earn trust with that with that person too at the same time and you. Um, but I would go it. I would do it on a second phase, so that way those two videos sort of connect with each other. There's more opportunity for that product to be shown, and you can grill them. Right? You bring that person on and you grill them. You go deep into those questions and you get hard with the, with those questions. And then if you get the right answers, like that's going to impress everybody who was, wasn't sure about this product to begin with, right? Uh, Anais says, how long do we get access to the uh, Circle community? Um, as long as it still exists. And we are putting as much time and effort into uh, and resources into the Circle community as, as we've ever have. Um, it is going to be the center of our business. And so I don't imagine it leaving anytime soon. But yeah, there's no... You get access to it for a year or anything like that, et cetera. Cool. I'm aware that I'm a complete stranger and beginner, but I would really appreciate any insight on how to find out how affiliate marketing is taxed. So that's going to be a um, like a 1099 situation. So those companies, if you earn, again, I'm not a CPA, but if you earn over a certain dollar amount, those companies will then issue you a 1099 that you that you then report. So it comes in as sort of like uh, royalties or um, earnings kind of situation, right? Do you have an affiliate program for the SPI Academy? Uh, we have an affiliate program for our courses um, and then SPI Pro as well. Uh, our Academy, we do not have an affiliate program yet. Our, our Academy currently is not a paid thing. Um, it's just access to the courses and the specific sections in the community for those courses. How to grow a YouTube channel. Uh, wait a couple months because there's another course coming. Mike says, I find myself needing a little uh, of this course and the podcasting course. How would I get your individual advice for me? 20-minute coaching session. Uh, it's going to be very tough to offer a 20-minute coaching session, Mike, but if you wanted to maybe tag me on Twitter with a couple questions, I might be able to shoot a couple video answers back to you. Uh, Barbara, um, help at teamspi.com and we can get you hooked up. All right, everybody, thank you so, so much for today. Uh, this was an amazing uh, group, an amazing conversation, and I hope this was of service to you. And I look forward to seeing you in the course. Again, smartpassiveincome.com slash 123am. We are offering our course A to Z webinars as a bonus. So each course essentially for 250, which is an absolute steal or a buy one, get one, if you want to call it that. And you have until Tuesday, April 19th next week, my dad's birthday, actually. And uh, I want to wish you all the best. So I look forward to seeing you in there. Get through the course and you have it. The Team Flynn with Win money back guarantee. It is up to me to deliver and for you to trust that process. And of course, if we don't deliver the value within 30 days, you ask for your money back and you'll at least have given it a shot. So again, thank you so much. I appreciate you and I look forward to seeing you uh, in the next podcast, video, et cetera. And you'll see an email from myself and Jonathan coming very soon. Again, big shout out and thank you to Jonathan who is in the chat. Uh, helping out with the um, with the admin stuff. And Bill, thank you again for that super chat. Appreciate you. And uh, we'll see you all later. Take care, everybody. That's where you want to go. Right there. Right there. Do, 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 do. All right. Bye, guys.